Hey everybody, welcome back to another Next Level Lawn Care video. So today, I wanna to talk to you about mushrooms in your lawn. Are they good? Are they bad? I'm gonna let you know. So here we are in the front yard and I just finished mowing. And as I was coming down this strip right here, I noticed we have mushrooms in the front yard. Now for a lot of you, this may cause some concern. It may not. There's different scenarios where mushrooms can be a great thing or they can be a bad thing. So today I'm gonna to tell you why you're seeing mushrooms in your yard. So in order for mushrooms to come into your yard, you're gonna need kind of the right balance of conditions, which is why we don't always see them. You're gonna need moisture, you're gonna need shade, whether it's from trees or bushes or just a cloudy day even, and you're gonna need a lot of good organic material in the ground. And when you get a combination of those three things, you start to see mushrooms. Now, most of those things we can handle or we can control. Water, if they're caused from us overwatering too much or too frequently, you can start to get mushrooms if the other conditions are present. So we can kind of control the shade portion of things. If we trim back trees to cope and kind of open up the canopy of them or bushes to allow more sunlight into the area where you're getting um, mushrooms or it could be somewhere like this where it's full sun 24 7 and then the issue or what's causing my mushrooms right here is we had a very cloudy and rainy day yesterday it didn't rain a lot but it just kind of drizzled throughout the day um, and then we've got good organic material in the ground so we had all those conditions and some mushrooms came up now let's talk about moisture I have a good watering program here where I'm only watering three days a week, um, which is what you should be doing as well. If you're watering every single day and you're getting mushrooms, that's probably why, is because you're watering too often. With watering, we wanna go deep and infrequent. So we wanna water a lot, but only three days a week. And we're trying to get somewhere around that inch to inch and a half of water per week. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know how to do that, I have other videos I will link in the description that show you how to water your lawn properly. Um, organic material, that's something amazing that you should be proud of if you're getting mushrooms. Um, you have good soil, you have good conditions. The only real thing that we can control is moisture to a degree, we can't help mother nature, and sunlight to a degree. Um, obviously you're not going to go chop down a giant beautiful tree just because you got a couple mushrooms popping up. All right, so when we're talking about too much moisture, um, whether it be from us watering too much or it's been raining too frequently and we're starting to get a bunch of mushrooms popping up, the only thing we can really try to do to help prevent that is work on our drainage issues. And I have a pretty bad scenario in my backyard right here, I'm going to show you up close, where I have very poor drainage and it has caused some issues for me. Um, some of them are related to the drainage. Some of those issues are not, but let's take a close look. <clears throat> so as you can see through this section right here, you can see the grass is real spotty and it's not from the dogs because they're rarely on this unless I'm out here with him. Um, he just ate a B. <laughs> um, so the dogs don't just have free reign out here in the backyard. They're only out here with me. The only thing that um, has caused this grass to go thin is actually some snow mold, which throughout the winter, as you can see, the house creates shade right here and snow sat from about this portion right here all the way over all winter long and that created an environment where snow mold got in here. However, and I didn't take care of it in time. However, if you also look, and I haven't got out here to clean this up yet, I've been lazy, but um, I watered at five o'clock this morning and the ground is still very, very damp through here. And that's because this backyard kind of slopes down into right in here. 
and the water just kind of sits in this area. So the only thing we can really do to try to fix that or alleviate that drainage issue um, is the ground here is kind of compacted. This is a clay soil. Um, so we can try to alleviate some of that compaction uh, by aerating. That'll help with the drainage in this area and help the water to not stand here so much. But if you don't take care of these things, as you can see, and you neglect it, you can get fungus issues that kill your grass. Now, can mushrooms be a sign that maybe something bad is coming? Yes, it can. You've got to remember mushrooms are a fungus. And if you're creating an environment for fungus, you're creating an environment for dangerous fungus, for disease, things like summer patch, rust, um, blight, things like that can all creep in around the same time that you're gonna start seeing mushrooms in the lawn or shortly thereafter. I'm really more concerned about those moving more into summertime than I am right now in spring, but warm temperatures and moisture sitting on the ground for too long creates disease issues. So if you're seeing those kind, that kind of a scenario, you may consider picking up some sort of propiconazole or azoxystrobin. Those are fungicides that you're gonna find in pretty much any fungus control product, whether it's from a big box store or somewhere online. Now, typically those kind of products are only gonna give you about 30 days of control. Um, or if you're trying to, if you already have a problem and you're trying to treat it, definitely get something like that to take care of that. So are mushrooms bad? No. Can they be a precursor to something bad? Yes. As always guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. Get outside and get your lawn to the next level. Bye. What are you doing, Ray? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, Whiskey? What are you doing?